What a sweet surprise. How are you doing today? Uh, welcome to my candy shop. How can I help you? Yes, well, you're looking for something to satisfy that sweet tooth, huh? Well, uh, you came to the right place. Yeah, we have uh, everything from our savory, delicious, sweet chocolates, classics. And uh, we also have some gummy candies, maybe something to chew on to keep that uh, mouth nice and sweet. Um, or if you want to take a trip south of the border, we also have some of those amazing, lead-filled, beautiful, great-for-your-health Mexican candies. Yes, yes, I know. I caliente. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, start with the chocolates, maybe. That's usually our most popular ones. You know, Hershey's and Three Musketeers. Maybe Kit Kat. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Yeah, I know. So, is that okay with you? Maybe start with some chocolates? Perfect, yeah, yeah. We are running a deal today, so just let me know what you'd like to put on your cart, and from there I'll give you your price. Sounds good. Okay, well, let's get started. Here we have a classic Hershey's bar. Just straight milk chocolate. It's nice and thin. Um, it's not too much chocolate. Like I would say, the bigger Hershey bars are maybe way too much for one person, but this Hershey bar is just the right size. And, uh, you know, it's farm fresh milk as well, which is really good. And we can go ahead and get into the nutrition facts if you'd like. Uh, so one serving is one bar, and that's going to be 43 grams. And from there, it's actually 220 calories. So you just have to run maybe 14 miles after eating one of these to help burn off those calories. Yeah, it only has 13 grams of fat. That's nothing, am I right? And the best part about this is it actually helps your teeth. I know. Chocolate is known to be the best thing for your teeth. You eat it and all your cavities go away. It's amazing. The more chocolate, the less cavities. Yeah, my dentist is like, no, that's not true, but I just ran out screaming because I was terrified. So, do you think maybe some classic milk chocolate is what you're looking for today? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's the most basic, the most popular, and uh, it's a crowd pleaser. Okay, let me go ahead and just ring this up. Okay. And did you want a bag for all your items today? Perfect, I'll go ahead and put this one in. Okay, what's next? We can go ahead and move on to another fan favorite. This is a mixture of two things. Peanut butter and chocolate. I know, a match made in heaven. Now these are Reese's peanut butter cups. Each package comes with two peanut butter cups and it's 210 calories, so you're getting a little bit less calories than you would if you were to eat the chocolate bar. But who counts calories anyways? Uh, this, I would say, is the perfect serving size. Uh, sometimes after I eat one, I'll just package up the other and save it for later. Yeah, sometimes I'll put it in my pocket on a hot day. Yeah, what I love to do is I like to take open chocolate and put it in my front pocket. Yeah, in the searing sun. It's great because then you can just reach into your pocket and your hand's covered in melted chocolate. It's the best. It's like a lollipop. Uh, I recommend doing that if you go to an amusement park. People will not look at you like a psychopath. Just make sure not to put the chocolate in your back pocket. But yeah, this one's also milk chocolate. And as I said, it has a peanut butter filling. And uh, some people would say that peanut butter and chocolate is one of the best combinations you can have in terms of the candy world. It's, it's fantastic. Oh yeah, let me help you out here. This one actually has 
only 4.5 grams of fat. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that was just the saturated fat. The total fat is going to be 27 grams of fat. <laughs> Fantastic. I know. And your total sugars are going to be 22 grams of sugar. Yes, sugar is great for you. The more sugar you eat, the healthier you are. So, did you maybe want to take home a nice little Reese's today? Peanut butter cup says yup. I'll stop. I'll go ahead and ring this up for you and put it in your bag. So next up, we have some more chocolate favorites. Let's go ahead and get into these bad boys, M&Ms. Legend says in order to burn off just one M&M, you have to run the entire length of a football field. So what I used to do in high school is I would get a bag of M&Ms, pop one into my mouth, sprint as far as I can across the football field and give up halfway and just eat the rest of the bag. Yeah. That's the way to live your life. Now, this one uh, is actually 230 calories, so it's a good amount, but like I said, who cares? It's all about the sweet stuff. So, uh, I think there's actually a rapper out there uh, who named himself Eminem after these candies because he loves them so much. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, no, that's exactly how it happened. So, let's go ahead and back these up for you as well. Oh, yeah, they're super sweet, super relaxing. It's just... It's definitely something that'll satisfy that sweet tooth. Okay, fantastic. Let me ring this one up. Oh, don't worry about the price. I'm going to give you a good deal. Don't worry. So here we have one of my favorite, favorite, favorite chocolate bars um, out of all of them. This one basically has, uh, it's called the Three Musketeers. It is a super sweet milk chocolate bar with a creamy nougat -y feeling uh, on the inside. Yeah, filling, sorry. And uh, it's definitely a great bar. It's just whiffed up. It's whiffed up chocolate filling, I guess you can say, but it's super sweet. Um, I'd like to actually only eat the kids version of these, the little snack sized ones, because to me, this is way too much chocolate, but I can tell you can go ahead and finish about 20 of these. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that means you're very awesome. So let's go ahead and just put these straight into your bag. Forget the calories, right? 240, by the way. Okay, wow. Well, only seven grams of fat. Hey, that's fantastic. So let me go ahead and ring these up for you. Fantastic. Yeah, no, to me, I would say the Mexican candies are probably the most delicious. Then again, they are the most deadly. I mean, delicious. So we'll move on to those in a bit, but this is our Snickers bar. It is one of our most popular uh, items. It does have 250 calories per bar, which is a good amount. But it only has 4.5 grams of saturated fat, which is good. And it's packed with peanuts. So there's peanuts in here. That's protein. Uh, every time you go to the gym right after, just get yourself about 20 Snickers eat them up, there's your protein for the day. That's perfect logic. So here we have peanuts, caramel, nougat, and milk chocolate. Everything you need to satisfy that hunger. Whenever you just want to, you know, punch someone in the face, pop your Snickers out and munch, munch, munch. It's the best thing to do. So I would highly recommend this for you. Let me go ahead and put it in your cart for you. Finally, we have our crisp wafers, Kit Kats. Now, Kit Kats are there to help you take a break, basically, from the day. Um, you just kick, 
you kickety cat them off. You just, you rip it off. And uh, from there, you just take a little munchity munch. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to take just a solid bite out of the Kit Kat, um, considering I like to piss people off. But that is just me. You might want to eat these normally. It's a great break snack. Uh, maybe break your, yourself one off, eat it up, rewrap your wrapping, and uh, save the rest for later. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this is the best uh, break time food. Okay, well that's all of our chocolate. Did you want to see the Ay Muy Caliente uh, Mexican candies take that trip south of the border? Or did you want to go over to the gummies? You want to cut right to the laxatives, I mean diarrhea, I mean delicious candies. Let's go directly south of the border. Well, I do have some delicious lollipops here. Now this, I'm not sure if you know what this bad boy is here, but this is a watermelon pop. But it's not just any watermelon pop. It's covered in, I would say, it's like a tamarindo, tahin. What is it exactly? Oh, it's covered in chili powder and sugar and salt. Now, with that, you get the nice, hot, spicy chili powder along with the sugar that basically counteracts it. And then from there, you get the salty feeling. And then once you hit that watermelon, the sweetness comes in right at the end to help just soothe that tongue after being set on fire with the chili powder. Yes, now this, this is not for the faint of heart. I would say it'll definitely just rip that, uh, rip your taste buds off. Yeah. And if you do want to, you know, bite into it and be impatient and not finish it the normal way, just have fun cutting your tongue with all that chili powder. Oh yeah, bleeding gums, bleeding tongue, ruined taste buds. It's a great time. So what do you think? Fantastic. One bleeding tongue. Perfect. Well, if you like that one, then I would highly recommend our Roccoletta. It's it's basically four chili layers around gum. It's also a lollipop, but we package it in this bad boy here because it does not play any games. I actually saw a police officer come in and purchase one of these because he was like, I don't play no games. And I was like, sir, calm down. Please put your gun away. Here's a Roccoletta. And he walked out. It's very, very good, man. Um, but yeah, like I said, you got the four layers of chili to help, you know, burn that mouth off. And then once you get to the end, you just bite into that gum, chew, chew, chew it, and it's nice and sweet to help soothe all that pain. Yeah, I once saw a um, challenge, I guess you can say, of someone who ate 50 of these in one sitting. Yeah, may they rest in peace. But it's delicious, it's good if you're only eating one a day. You'll take 20, okay. Okay, I'll go ahead and put 20 of these in there. Done, I'm incredibly fast. Next up, we actually have two different flavored of the same items. So here we have Zumba Goma Sandia, which is basically another version of what that lollipop is. It's a nice chamoy chili powder outer coating, uh, and within it is a nice, you know, chewy, nougaty watermelon taste. This one is the Zumba Goma Mango. So we have both watermelon and mango. I really like these because I'm more of someone who likes gummies. Maybe like a chewy type gummy or something like that. And these definitely hit the spot. You can bite into it halfway. You can put it all the way in your mouth and just kind of bite it and destroy it. And just, you know, savor all the flavors. Um, but you can really just take it how you'd like it. Uh, looking at one of these is actually making my mouth water right now as we squeak. And it only has 310 milligrams of sodium. How healthy. So... How about these bad boys? They're 50 cents each. Okay, fantastic. 
So yes, there'll be a Bring these up. Okay. Um, we also have these indie dedos, which are delicious. Um, it's more of it's it's spicy and sour candy, I would say. On the outside, you have that spicy chili powder coating. You can actually hear some of the powder. amazing it's delicious and it's also very chewy on the inside you have more of that sour sweet kind of taste uh, but the spiciness is definitely on the outside with that chili powder it's mainly there for a quick little bite if you're hungry or just want a little sweet spicy you know fix uh, throughout the day and it's a quick eat um, I would recommend only getting one though because this this is pretty deadly Fantastic. Okay, you put this one in. This one will be only 25 cents. Finally, we have the bad boy himself, Lucas Muegas. Now, Lucas is actually one of the more popular brands down there in south of the border in Mexico. Uh, they make several different types of candies, which we have some other chili powders, mango, chamoy, whatever makes you, you know, happy. Uh, but this one is basically the cherry flavored lollipop lollipop and chili powder so if you can hear delicioso there is chili powder in here and all you gotta do is just twist and pull out this little handy dandy notebook here and you just go ahead uh, and lick on the cherry lollipop Stick it back in, shake up that chili powder, and you got yourself a cherry chili lollipop. Now, I'm not a big fan of cherry myself, but the chili inside definitely overpowers the flavor, and who doesn't love chili powder? Yes, I would highly recommend this one. Lucas, I would say, is top of the line when it comes to the south of the border candies. Fantastic. Okay, I'll put this one in. This one's only $2.99 if that's okay with you. Cool. Okay. Well, that about does it for our South of the Border candies. Ay caliente. Um, how about we move into some gummies, some chewy candies to kind of keep that mouth nice and sweet. Okay, fantastic. Let's see. with something small. Here we have E Fruity's mini burgers. I like to get these and say that I'm gonna do the Big Mac uh, one bite challenge. So you know you can fool your friends and say hey I ate a hamburger in one bite and they'll be like no way you're such a liar kind of like how everyone lies to you because none of us like you and we only invite you because we feel bad. So then I pull this bad boy out and I eat it in front of them and they all laugh at me. But I highly recommend this because it's very sweet. You can actually eat just the bun if you want or maybe take out that lettuce because we don't like vegetables um, or take out the tomato because we don't like vegetables or leave the cheese in because we love that. Um, but you know I like to maybe bite half of it as if I'm eating a real burger or try and feed it to a cockroach because it's so cute. So we're going to take this as well. Only two cents. Perfect. Let's go. Okay. Now these are actually my favorite. They're very, very fun to eat. They're called Rip Rolls. We have Blue Raspberry and we have Strawberry. Now these are 40 inches of fun. I like to think of them as a sour fruit by the foot. If you remember Fruit Roll-Ups. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very good, they're sweet, and they do have that sour coating on the outside, but it's not too sour. You can whip it, strip it, smack it, pack it, curl it, twirl it, stretch it, catch it, pull it. You can do whatever you want with it. It's weird how it doesn't say eat it, but you can also eat it. Uh, this one only has 130 calories per serving, 
and uh, there's no fats, which is good. It's just sodium and sugar, two great things for you. And it's just really cool. You can cut off your friends a piece, you know, if you want to share it. Or if you're depressed at the end of your class day and you just crawl into a corner once you get home, you can eat one of these in one sitting. Um, but yeah, are we looking to take maybe blue raspberry? Did you want strawberry? Or did you want me to give you both of them? Okay, let's go with both. They're going to be three dollars each. Yeah, 40 inches of fun. You just got yourself 80 inches of fun. Man, your bag is getting packed up. You're gonna have a sweet night. Okay, next up, we have a classic original Starbursts. Now, Starburst is individually packaged on the inside, so once you open this, no need to worry. None of your candy will go bad or anything, but it's basically different flavors. Uh, you have lemon, you have strawberry, you have green apple, you have cherry, a bunch of different fruits um, that will basically, you know, pop one and you're good for the day. There's a lot of sugar in one of them, so I wouldn't eat the whole thing in one sitting um, unless you're clinically depressed like me. But um, there's orange in here also. Not a lot of people like the orange. They usually like the pink one. Uh, not many people like the yellow one. They usually like the red one. Um, but it's fine. Whatever floats your boat with this one. And uh, it's just a really good snack. You can always share it with your friends. Usually you whip one of these out in class and kids are like, oh my god, oh my, you're my best friend. Give me Starburst. And, you know, I've never had a best friend. So it's like, yeah, here you go. And then they never talk to me ever again. Um, but it's delicious. Okay, we'll take this one today. This one's going to be $5. Okay, okay we only have two more candies left. Uh, do you want something sour or something sweet? Something sweet. Okay. Here we have tropical Skittles. Now, as much as I love normal Skittles, I would say tropical Skittles are my favorite. And not because the packaging has my favorite color, but because it's definitely more of a lighter kind of snack. Skittles, if you eat too much, it's really heavy, but with the tropical flavors, it's very, I would say, juicy, very refreshing. So, in this one we have banana berry, we have pineapple passion fruit, my favorite, mango tangelo, we also have kiwi lime, and strawberry star fruit. Each pack is 250 calories, but I can assure you it's 250 calories of fun. Thinking about taking this out to maybe your next vacation? When you're laying on the beach, you can pop one in. Perfect. This one is going to be $125.99. Skittles are very rare. Now, for our final snack, I have some Sour Then Sweet Sour Patch Kids. Now, I'm a big fan of the Sour Patch Kids Watermelon, but this one is the only one we have in stock right now. So, we have blue raspberry, green apple, lemon, cherry, orange, any flavor you can think of, it's in here. So, you can actually hear the sour powder inside. So, as it says on the packaging, it's sour, then sweet. Are you thinking about maybe taking some of that today? Yeah. Okay, sounds great. Let me go ahead and just package this one up for you as well. Here we have your bag uh, full of treats. side for you. Uh, would you like me to just total up your items and give you your total? Fantastic. Okay, so it looks like your total came out to $200. Oh 
Oh yeah, the special discount. Let me go ahead and apply that. Code word, strawberry shortcake. And I came up with that. Okay, your total is $15.92. Yeah, you wanted the discount. For sure. And how will you be paying today? Perfect. Let me just take that. Okay. Everything seems to be good. Would you like a receipt? No. Okay. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoy your sweet snacks. And if you ever need that uh, sweet tooth, to be taken care of again, just come on by my candy shop. I'm always happy to help because you know the candy man can. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. Enjoy your sweets and don't forget to smile. Thank you. Have a great day, Pete.